Hi, I'm Bob Reynolds from the John Mayer Band, and I'm here to talk a little bit about what I do to get started with my reads. So, I'm a one of the reasons I love Rico's so much is because I pretty much play every read in the box. So I thought I'd just talk about what it is I do with the reads from start to finish, um, kind of get myself worked out. I'll normally just take it out, you know, kind of check the read to see the heart in the middle and see, look for ones that right away that um, that have the best shape. I mean, maybe pick out a couple of them. Let's find one that looks. Here's a good one. I mean, they're all they all end up being pretty good after this. But this is kind of as just a way of evening out reads for me. So I'll take. Um, I play a hard rubber mouthpiece, but you could use. Anything that's uh, like a non-porous surface could be a uh, glass guitar slide would work just about the same way. But I take the take the mouthpiece and turn the reed upside down, or you know, with the with the flat part facing up, and just kind of hold on to it. And I use the mouthpiece to just close up all of the pores of the cane. So I just gently kind of push from the from the base of the reed forward to the tip, almost lifting as I get up to the front, just so I don't mess up the, the tip of the reed at all. And this is just to kind of flatten out all the, all the pores. You know, when you feel the reed after this, it'll be a little bit more smooth on the back. And then I take it, uh, just put it on a plain piece of white paper, and just do a gentle sanding of the reed for about a count of 10 seconds or so. And this is, again, just to smooth it out a little bit. And I find after you do this, you'll feel the back of the reed is super smooth. And then I, I'll take the paper and just kind of Oops, wrong side. Run down the front part of it. So after just that much, that little bit of effort, now it's really smooth. And I stick it in a glass of water for about, you know, five minutes. It doesn't need to be that long. I'm not going to soak it uh, for a long time. I don't need it to be really soaked for me to play it. This is just to get get the reed sort of all even from the from the get-go. I find if I do this with with each read I pull out of the box then they're all the more likely to be pretty similar. I mean one's going to be a little bit different from the next but the system works really well for me. You know I'll have maybe three of them to choose from and while the others are soaking I'll take one out and you know give it a whirl. And what I always like to do is just a quick suction test on the reed and the mouthpiece. Just make sure you get a little pop when you pull the mouthpiece off your hand. It tells me the reed is, is on there correctly. <laughs> too fussy about it. I mean, again, one of the reasons I like these reads is they all are pretty consistent for me. But I might go through three of them and um, just pick out the one that feels the best at the moment and start there. And I'll uh, often just take only maybe three of them, rotate them for a little while until those three are, I've played them all out and then I start all over again. This one looks, this one's going to be a little bit on the stiff side since I just took it out. Definitely a little bit harder than the last one, but still in the same ballpark. Let that one soak a little bit more. Some people soak their reeds all the time, but I find they get waterlogged, so I like to just do it at the beginning of the practice session or you know before a gig or something, you know, just just as a, a starting point. Got kind of a medium, 
and a, and a tougher one. So now I might take the one that feels the I'll t not might I'll take the one that feels the best right now, and I'll start with that. Let the other two soak for a little while while I'm playing or practicing with the first one, and just even that five to ten minutes in the water kind of evens them out after doing this this uh, little prep.